Samsung doubles the sales of the Galaxy S4 this period. Carrier leaks point to new Nokia and HTC phones coming soon. And the Moto X custom options get explained, then you're not gonna like them. I'm Jaime Rivera. And think of the Moto X as the new male Barbie where you're gonna be able to dress it up and just about everything. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the expected news, as even though the Galaxy S4 hasn't really sold as much as the Galaxy S3, that doesn't mean they're not selling it in millions. And that's 20 million to be exact for the period. Obviously, Samsung CEO will come on record with a press release and all the official statements coming soon, but still, raise your hand in the comments how many of you got a Galaxy S4. So more leaks of LG's new flagship have emerged, and apparently it won't be called the Optimus G2, just the G2. And it seems that among the enhancements, well, we saw that the back button you know, those volume rockers were at the back. Well, apparently every button will be at the back and it's hard to know why. Could it be that this phone is gonna be so thin that the buttons don't fit anywhere but on the back? Hmm, stay tuned, we'll see. Now, O2 Germany has now leaked the full list of phones that are coming in their roadmap, and we are getting the Nokia EOS that hasn't been announced, and also a Nokia Mars that's making some headlines here. Not sure what that project is about, but aside from that, we've also got some HTC phones, the HTC One Mini and the HTC One Max. Yeah, I know, I was about to say Maxi, but still, you know, links down below for the full list. It's kind of interesting to see what we will be getting in the next couple of months. And speaking of the HTC One Mini, we've got a full gallery of photos of this phone that's coming up being compared to the HTC One. And as you'll notice, well, the buttons are a little bit different, but other than that, the phone looks exactly like an HTC One, only smaller. But you'll notice in the photos that it's not really that much smaller. So it begs to wonder if you guys are gonna prefer the smaller version or the normal version if they're not really gonna be very different except for the specs. And finally, for the sad and disappointing news of the day, well, Motorola has kind of explained what to expect with these customizations that we're gonna get in the Moto X. And even though we were expecting tailored design, as they were kind of saying in their banner ads, well, it turns out that you'll be able to choose from a dozen colors. You'll be able to engrave your name on the phone as if that's gonna make your resale value any better. And you're also gonna be able to send them your wallpaper so that they could send you the phone with the wallpaper as if you were lazy enough to not do that yourself when you pick the phone out of the box. It's extremely disappointing for Motorola to be, you know, marketing something that's not really revolutionary unless you tell me otherwise. Uh, that leads me to the question of the day. I mean, do you believe that any of these wow features really wow you? Because honestly, oh man, the Moto X is going to be a flop on my book. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think about these things? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tech world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.